start the party! Hey guys, it's your boy Roy. Welcome back to another act of Vanquish, where we will be fighting two KNRB Zeros. I am not gonna lie, it took me a long damn ass time to finish this chapter. Uh, moving from one house to the other was one part of it, but let me just say it was hard. But let's start off with the first fight. Uh, two rollers and a couple of normal Gorgies and Golden Gorgies. Rollers wait until they pop out of their shields and shotgun them in the face. It's not rocket science, even though there is slightly a rocket in our jetpack. Uh, for the next sequence, you can, I believe there's a barrel there somewhere that you can use uh, to blow up that platform that they're standing on. But this fight is cake. Uh, upcoming is another fight against a, um, it's a normal Romanov one with the shoulder cannons and a rocket in his arm. Uh, e he's really easy. Once you get behind him and get a few shotgun blasts and you can melee stun him and then use some EMPs Because you can bet your ass that you're gonna die in the next fight So you might as well just use all the ammo and grenades you've got left because you're gonna lose them anyway um, Because the f uh, the big meat of this chapter is the dual Argus also known as KNRB zero fight uh, And I'm gonna have to explain a couple of quick parts about this uh I found it to be impossible to do. And um, the big reason is that there's so much shit going on on the screen. Here you use a quick grenade to kill the Gorgies and then you focus on the Romanov. Hit him in the back for extra damage. Um, uh, so much shit going on, you do so little damage and uh, the big advantage we had in the first Argus fight at the start of the game is we were on an elevated platform. Meaning we could more easily hit the core. Uh, which is not the case here. I did dabbled in a lot of strategies. I tried out a lot of stuff and I even went as far as uh, seeing if I could use the Arguses to kill each other for me, which is a part of my strategy coming up. Uh, but I tried meleeing uh, pieces of cover to get uh, higher up so I could shoot the Argus. I, I tried everything. Now, the first part of the fight is going to be sped up 300% because it's going to be way too damn boring to look at. Uh, reason being, uh, I'm going to be using an invulnerable piece of cover, uh, which is to the far right of the uh, battle arena. Uh, both Arguses cannot hit you when you're behind that piece of cover. You're completely impervious, uh, which is, well, pretty solid. So what we do is we start off, we go off to the right side of the screen, and we just stay there and wait for both Arguses to get close to one another. Uh, we might have to pull a couple of them uh, closer together by using shotgun blasts to lure them towards our position. Because the general idea, I, I also have a clip in which uh, one Argus pretty much nearly kills the other one. Uh, but I get killed uh, right before I was able to finish that fight. And here I do it sort of mix and match. I do a lot of killing, but the other Argus does a lot of my work as well. And this is done because if an Argus is standing too close to a piece of cover, uh, his grenades and rocket shots will do a little splash damage that might damage him uh, as well. Uh, here you'll see uh, him slowly getting some damage, uh, but the bigger Argus can also sometimes damage him with his melee attacks. Here I'm pulling him, pulling him over here, and sometimes his bigger rocket barrages might hit him. Uh, I'm not joking around when I say that they can kill each other in seconds. Um, I tried this a bit on hard difficulty uh, first, and over there I managed to get one lucky score in. Here I quickly dodge around to avoid some grenades. You're not completely safe. Uh, you can die, for instance, those rocket barrages. If one of the Arcus is on the side, you're not safe. You, you'll die. Um, at least have a big chance to die. So I'm sort of hoping he's going to the right, and he, here we go. He's to the right. They're both to the right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wait a little bit. But as you can see, he's already taken about... 20% damage of his entire life bar, it's gone because he's hitting himself and because the other Argus is hitting him as well. Now, this is where the fighting begins. Uh, there's a couple of things we have to take care of and uh, take notice of. Most notably being the, uh, b uh, the not the bipedal, but the, um, the humanoid form Argus. It will sometimes do a foot stomp, which will send a shockwave, which will overheat us. This makes a very specific sound effect which you can use uh, to anticipate this. Just boost dodge through it and you'll be good. Now, uh, one thing you should be noted is behind these barrels, you are, uh, their missiles uh, and even bigger shots like the mouth cannon will not be able to penetrate the uh, hitboxes. Then again, your shotgun blasts will. 
Meaning, he'll be able to slowly chip away his health. Here, you can see me. Uh, at first, uh, it's it's a bit frightening, like because you're literally looking death in the eye. So sometimes I, uh, out of reflex, I dodge out of the way. Uh, but here, get a few shots in. Uh, the safest part I found to get a shot in is to wait until he does this this attack. He might be moving a bit, but it's the easy. Uh, he's just, his eye is the most stable at that time, and he's the closest, meaning you can be able to get as much shotgun shots, uh, pellets in his face as possible. Now, of course, we're shotgun only, so we only have about five rounds left. But there's one uh, permanent shotgun cache. Uh, it's on the other side of the map, and that one is always a shotgun. And on the other side, uh, on the other hand, you might be able to find a container here or there, but the chances of that are pretty slim. But th that one is oh here, there you have the sound effect. It's a sort of vibrating sound. I have to, I have my sound completely like buffed to, to the max, so I could always uh, hear <laughs> that sound effect coming. Now I'm slowly just taking my time because again, like I said, doing this uh, normally, like fighting them head on with just the shotgun on God hard. It's not doable, um, at least not with my skill level. Uh, maybe there, uh, maybe Molu Japan or Venichiro might might be able to pull it off, but I'm pretty sure even they would be up for a challenge. Um, because one of the bigger reasons this fight is so hard again is you have no elevated position, meaning the only time you can really deal damage is when you're either behind a static piece of cover like this. And here, I quickly wait to, for the Doomsday Laser to be done. It deals a slight bit of damage. Uh, is you can use static pieces of cover like that, and there's two tanks lying around, uh, and a couple other pieces of cover which you can use to uh, boost melee on, and then get some quick shots in. But it's just too damn unsafe, especially with two of those firing at you, because uh, while you might not have argo uh, aggroed one of them, sometimes his stray hits will just pop in and surprise you, and you'll be dead. It'll be over, and you can start all over again. Uh, again, your damage output isn't that great either, because even if you're boost dodging into the sky, you're not getting a maximum amount of pellets in. So, this is the safest way I found. It is incredibly lame, it is incredibly boring, it broke the game, it is breaking the game. Uh, it's a designer oversight, I feel sort of guilty for using it, but we're doing shotgun only, so in my opinion, no holds barred, everything is allowed. Uh, now I'm quickly scourging back here and praying that they're gonna find their way back again. He's slightly taking some damage here and there. He's taking a few smokes. Uh, now to quickly reiterate, uh, as I said, I moved. I got a new house. It's amazing. Uh, I might do a short video on it uh, some, uh, sometime tomorrow or today. Uh, just to show you guys around the place because I, I doubt any one of you is gonna visit. But. Um, just to show off, I, I've got a pretty nice place. I'm not gonna lie. I've got, I, um, I've got a, a, my own study, I've got a living room, bedroom, nice kitchen, and it's in the, pretty much in the center of Utrecht, which is it's not the main capital of Holland, but it's at the center, so it's really easy to reach the the rest of the country with uh, the public transport, like trains and stuff, which is handy for me because I travel all around the place for uh, assignments, for illustration and stuff like that. Alright, well, right now, this is the boring, well, not boring part, this is the part where we really go at it. We're about halfway this Argus fight. Uh, what my tactic is going to be is I'm going to wait for him to uh, use his cannon shot and his, um, well, foot rush, you can call it. Uh, you need to be careful of his purple lasers. They are very aggressive and they can hit you, as you just saw. Barely, but they can. Alright, there we go, the shot wave again. Um, otherwise, like, I'm still enjoying Vanquish. Um, the fun part is I didn't touch this game uh, for about a month or two before when I uh, recorded this uh, successful attempt. And it's just this easy pick-up-and-play game. I, I was in a room, I just boost dodged around a bit, did a couple of reload cancels, and was like, yeah, yeah, I remember how this works. This is amazing. You know, this game will never get old. Um, here, here, he's getting a lot of damage, which is good. It's helping out. Uh, up and coming, like, I promised myself I would no longer promise uh, playthroughs. Uh, I want to finish this Vanquish guide. It might take a year. Um, but I, I used to constantly make videos of me promising, oh, I'm going to do this playthrough video, and then I'm going to do this challenge run. 
There's a couple of play games I want to play and put on my channel because I, d I think they're underexposed on the internet. Uh, because there's just a f lot of fun stuff uh, uh, doable with those games. Uh, I just finished my... Um, uh, during the uh, movement of my house, I bought a physical copy of God Hand. And I played it through a normal with kicks only, which was pretty fun because you have a customized moveset. I just used kicks and it was pretty different. The game played a lot differently than I expected. I had to rechange a lot of my strategies and it was just an overall blast to play. Uh, on the flip side, uh, so I want to put something God Hand related on my channel. Maybe I'll do a normal KMS run uh, and maybe a hard KMS run down the line. I did hard KMS once in my life and I never want to do it again. It was too difficult arbitrary it was insane and if you want to view a, a good god uh, god hand hard kms run just youtube mike kobayashi he's the best um, but i might do something like that i really want to do something onimusha related i recently discovered those games i still think the xbox remake genma onimusha is the best one but onimusha 2 is a really weird and unique game uh, same with onimusha 3 don't really like onimusha 4 and I don't know why they sort of killed off the series, because it's pretty popular from what I know. Um, otherwise, I also want to do something with The Punisher. Uh, I bought that on Xbox as well. It's a sort of third-person shooter with a score system, and it's pretty fun to play. Uh, if, you, if you're a f fan of comic books and just uh, third-person shooters with some fun mechanics, and it, it's not a game you can play a lot at a time, because you're going to get bored, because it's it's pretty mind uh, mind-numbing. No, nah, not boring. Uh, what do you call it? It's it's easy entertainment. Like it's not high quality steak or anything. It's just a nice hamburger. So if you eat too much of that, you're gonna get well, a bit over. Yeah, you, yeah. You just wa don't want something s more sophisticated. So, but I recommend it. Uh, I also because uh, right now there's a, a second uh, second hand a used video game store like 40 seconds walk from my front door. And they got cheap stuff. Like I bought for ten bucks, I bought Final Fantasy X, The Punisher, uh, Tenchu, the first one, never played it, Max Payne, God of War One. Um, uh, what else did I buy? Uh, I think there were a couple of other ones. Uh, oh yeah, and the first Onimusha. So that's a lot of stuff for just 10 bucks, and they were all used, and they were all in good quality. And they also have like NES games and stuff like that for like really cheap, like Super Mario Brothers free for like three bucks. Uh, but it's all on your own risk. Like you, the, they're not sure if they'll work, um, and if uh, they don't, well, you're not going to get your money back. Right here, I was sort of chickening out. By the way, I only have five shots left, uh, and if you're you've got some bad luck, and if one of those shots, in those five here, that's one miss. And if they miss, you're pretty much done. So here we have a sort of miss. And now we have three shots left. And I'm sort of scared. Like uh, with my kind of luck, it would be like that. That's that. This piece of cover has like uh, uh, a lot of HP, and then just suddenly breaks, and I'm dead. So I'm taking my time. I'm just waiting patiently, so we can finally move on to the second Argus fight. Um, let's see what else is new. Uh, yeah, this fight is boring. Um, I, 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 re I remember actually the first time I played it, even then I didn't think it was that interesting. Because it, it, the boss, is, there we go, a really good shot. And we get the quick time event to kill it. If you fill this quick time event, he'll turn into a bipedal form. Uh, no, not a bipedal, a humanoid form. Uh, there's an achievement for that. I don't care, I want this guy out of his misery. And now some nice cool moves. Now upcoming, uh, here you can see my controller is almost empty because I've been playing for so long. Now quickly get to some piece of cover because you're not going to last too long. Um, you're probably going to die real quick and you want that checkpoint to be over with. And now we're going to go over to the next fight. Alright, this is the last Argus fight, at least from this chapter. And uh, the general idea is to quickly hit one of his legs. And you want to get really damn close. And uh, the second part is you want to get him over here. Uh, it requires luck for him to use that slide attack. Just retry until you get it. Uh, because what that does is over here there's burns. And he has a very strong gun. 
and that will allow you to do some extra damage. You will fire rockets, uh, Gatling guns, and it's just that little piece of extra damage that he does that will incredibly help you out. Quickly throw an EMP and get the cover. Uh, the EMP will not shut him down, but it will shut a couple of his guns down. Now with one leg out of the way, we're going to be focusing on the other leg, which will activate a quick time event. And after that, we're going to focus on uh, his backpack, which is also a weak spot. Now, we're, as you can see, we're running low on shotgun animation again, but because we died and we had a checkpoint, we can finally grab that other piece. Now, as you just saw, he has two Gatling guns where his penis should be. Your, your top priority is to take those down immediately, because you're pretty safe between his legs on the front side, but on the back, you will die quickly. And those guns can change uh, positions. Now, I barely managed to hit him. I got a, like a couple of weak shots in. And not a lot. See, it, not a lot of damage. Now, wait for the guns. Oh yeah, because uh, triggering the quick time event does not destroy the, the leg yet. Now, here I get really pissed off. I get a melee in. And I'm out of ammo. I was really, really, really tempted to just grab the pistol and say, Fuck it, I want this over with. I want to cook some food. I want to record this uh, uh, voiceover. But no, we got to get it over with. We got to do it shotgun only. The way it was meant to d be done. Uh, I suddenly realized I still got the pistol equipped, so I can switch back to the shotgun. Take care of the uh, uh, penis guns. They won't respawn, as lo at least as not as far as I know. Some of their guns do respawn if you uh, take too long. Get on um, between his legs. You want to get behind him and get a good angle on that uh, back orb. It's the easiest piece to hit. Piece to hit. You can use his arms as well, but I always find this one to be easier, especially if you deal with the back cannon. You're pretty safe. He's got two turrets. Now there are two turrets positioned on his orb, but you'll probably hit them with the residue of pellets of your shotgun, so you don't have to be too worried about that. Now afterwards, uh, after you get that orb, you just gotta get a quick shot in. Now uh, right here I got a great angle. Now I gotta get real close. Because he's gonna be staggered only for a short time. Get a shotgun blast in. Got just a couple more and there we go. We did it. Game fucking over. So glad this chapter is over with. Now we can get some actual action going on again. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And we're gonna be looking at the final stats for this act. Uh, as you can see, our total score is pretty low. We lost a lot of points because we died 55 times fighting these guys. Uh, and that's sort of a lie. Because I didn't die 55 times, I died a lot more times. Uh, the game doesn't save your deaths if you quit playing. Uh, and I probably switched off this game like 5 times, so we're probably looking at 300 deaths easy for this fight. Still... It's a great fight, and I love the game, and I'll see you guys next video. Hey, do your job!